Oh, it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. When was the last time I did an episode of this? Probably like three, four months, maybe even at this point. You can find out if you go to bigplay.1 slash level. This is the spreadsheet with all of our actual leveling challenges on it. And you can see that this one was paused. <laughs> I had started it because I wanted to try to get the Eridar thing. And uh, yeah, that was seven months. Oh my God, seven months ago. Yeah, so it's been a while. But we're back to it today. As promised, we got the Draenei Heritage Armor. Cops telling me it's great and I want to get it. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, this is a character that we had already started, so uh, yeah, the playlist is there if you want to check that out. Definitely recommend checking it out. I think this was actually the first series that I started on this channel. Maybe the second, because I remember doing the the priest one. <clears throat> but yeah, I have no idea what we were doing last time, so let's go and figure it out. Oh yeah, Blood Mist Isle, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember, is my hearth set there? I don't. Oh yeah, we're doing a Nomad too, right, 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 right. Alright, well we're mounting up and we're on our way to say one talent point only character if you don't know how that goes we take a limited number of talent points i guess i'm surprised i took this many frankly but yeah it looks like we got them all now did blizzard try to fill these in on me i don't think so surely i don't remember but i'm surprised to see that i have taken all these talent points but yeah either way probably did because i know a lot of them i was like no there's a couple talents on one but either way, we're meant to take a limited amount of talent points, so that is the end of our talent point spending. It's a pain in the ass now. <laughs> Last time I did it, it wasn't like this. But now, uh, this stupid pop-up is going to be on the screen the entire playthrough. And there seemingly is no way to get rid of it. Because Blizzard thinks its community is too in too not, not, not intelligent enough to make decisions on their character's progression, I guess. Oh, that's not the right way. Speaking of. But anyway, yeah, we're going to head back to where we were. I remember we, the servers were like going down. It was like the day that the Eridar stuff was supposed to come out. That's the last time we played this. And I, of course, now have that. So we are playing an Eridar Warlock, really. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to switch sides on you there, but yeah, this is cool. I really enjoy this. I love the theme of it. It looks great with the colors of the mount and the transmog, too. Let's fight something and see what it's like. If I can remember, do we have a pet? Or are we using the imp? I don't think the Voidwalker was, like, keeping threat, if I remember correctly. We'll find out. I love the fucking music in the song, though, dude. This is, like, the number one thing I love here. So I think it's this, this, then this. Then we drain life the whole way if we need to. I think drain life does, like, a lot of damage at this level. All right, that looks solid. And it is a Nomad leveling challenge, so we have no gear on yet. It looks like we have one pair... We have a rope. That is it. Oh. And that is the actual appearance we're wearing, too. Wow, that's perfect. Fun. Yeah, we'll head out to the continuation of this questing area. I have not ever done this. I think it's probably why... I don't know why I went back to Eridor. Or to... Whatever that's called. Exodor. But either way, we are now. Oh, right, because I had to go to the barbershop. That's why. Oh, I think I even had to go to Stormwind to do it because there is no barbershop there. I remember now. It's been a while. Dude, eight months ago. What was eight months ago? That's probably October or November. Hmm. That's like right when I started the channel. And now we're partnered. <laughs> Thank you guys all for the support on that front. That is very... Uh, a big relief now I can feel like I am uh, putting aside the other channel to make content for this channel and not losing as much as I was it's something I need to do mentally to be able to enjoy the content creation as much as I would like to I set up all these like roadblocks in my life to make sure I don't burn out and unfortunately you know content creation is one that is needing them and there's so many things I could do but to do them that voraciously would really cause me to not enjoy it so this is a healthy balance because I'm able to just play the game and just help, you know, just rant and just chill and say whatever I want without any feel like I need to be doing something specific. And it's like a really, uh, a really fun way to just explore different things in the game. You guys like your alts? I do not. I instead like leveling. 
if I'm going to play a different character, it's going to be in a leveling challenge. And this is it. I can't wait to get the Draenei Heritage Armor, though, because I don't know if, man, I showed it on stream a while ago, but there is, I got to find it now, because, man, let's see if I can Draenei Heritage. There was a hell of a post, like, whoa, that is it right there. Is this it? No, but this is a really good one too. Whoa, look at this one. That's a really good one too. It's like the perfect colors. There's some really, really, really good colors. All right, how do we do this? Because we have to kill these trees. Okay, we'll start with this one. We don't have any buffs or anything, I guess, right? We could soulstone ourselves. What is the shade scale? Do we have? Oh, we have it on, yeah. I just don't have it on my bars for some reason. Strange. Boy box. All right, killing trees. Oh yeah, malefic rapture as well. I forgot about this spell. Yeah, we are blasting these enemies. Okay. Well, it's still pretty. Uh, the the character's still pretty young. Oh, irradiated crystal shards. What are those for? The music is just something. The first one is way, way cooler because it's like blue and more nature looking, but this one's really neat too. Can't believe how much damage we're doing. Oh. Isn't there PvP talents too? I guess we don't have them. Can't even look at them yet. We're not even 20 yet, yeah. Yeah, so we'll take a little break from the Evoker. Because I want to get this. Uh, this is going to be my priority for the next few days. Shouldn't take more than a few days. I mean, leveling isn't that fast, but I think you only have to get to 50 now, so we'll see. I think they did they buff affliction as well since obviously it's been looked at as one of the worst specs this expansion maybe that has something to do with it we didn't finish the quest all right i'm surprised by my range too it feels like way more than they're 40 yard ranges, okay. Still not done. Okay. So what talents do we actually have? Oh, we have Malefic Rapture and Unstable Affliction. And then I decide to also take Agony's damage starts at four stacks. I may now ramp up to 18, which is relatively useless. And these other ones are not like, these aren't really going to do much for me. So it's really just these two talents that I wanted, I guess. All right, now there's stuff up here, it looks like. Never done this zone before. I don't think like I, th I remember trying to do it once. I, I was like streaming, and we talked about water elemental porn for some reason. <laughs> Tokes was in the chat. Good old Tokes back in the day. 
And he's like, bro, if he introduced me to the concept of like rule 34, something like that. He's like, if it exists, there's porn of it. And I was like, oh. And so he showed me like Jaina and a water elemental and you could imagine the rest. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. That's like my only memory from ever being in the zone. <laughs> Maybe we probably pull multiple mobs. If they're close. I love that the pet actually like gets threat. There's 17 as well. Eye of Kill Rog, okay. Yeah, well, let me show you what this looks like from my end, because you can't actually see it. That is gonna be on the screen. See under my camera there? That is gonna be under there. That's gonna be under my camera and on the screen for the rest of the playthrough. We got a lot of rested too, that's nice. And there is, from what I can tell, no way to get rid of it. Just doing quests though. I mean, look at all the stuff we already have to turn in. This is really a cool zone though, honestly. It's very visually outlandish, like with the really bright reds. I love how they introduced the Drain Eye versus Blood Elf stuff immediately too. That's really cool. This is yet another stone of stone in the wall of I wish I had got to experience TBC more. TBC is the only expansion I never played, like. I didn't really play it at all. It came out. I remember playing in the pre-patch of it. It might have actually been out at that point. I don't even know. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Okay, I, I do. I, I did play it a little bit when it came out um, because I remember going into Hellfire Peninsula and doing dungeons. I had this, like, crazy... It was, like, literally all, like, 40-plus-year-olds at the time. I was in a guild when I was, like, 16. And uh, they all kind of, like, took me under their wing and, uh, and yeah, they all like raised money for me because I didn't have an epic mount. And they're like, bro, you can't, how are you gonna quest without an epic mount in Hellfire Peninsula? So they all put like a couple, they all put like 50 gold in to get it. I think it was only 500 gold in TBC, but they all put like 50 gold in or 25 gold or something like that and got me my epic mount. And then I remember doing a Hellfire Peninsula, what, what's the name of that? Hellfire Ramparts with them. And they're like, you know, I they I had raided with them a bunch, but I don't think I ever actually did Molten Core with them or anything like that. Like, I remember doing ZG a bunch with them. That was, like, my first experience raiding. I've told that story a million times. And then the whole Nax thing, like, they basically needed me to do Nax with them because they needed, they needed six tanks or something. Or maybe it was only four, but either way, I was not normally in the raid group. And they basically messaged me, like, hey, we're going to gear you up. I just need you to taunt twice, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, okay. Do we get experience from this? No, these ones don't give experience, right? Inventory is full. Let's empty it though, I don't like leaving stuff. But yeah, so they, so I, I killed the four horsemen with them. I, don't, I have no memory of doing anything else. Wait, what's going on here? I have no memory of doing any other bosses in Nax other than the Four Horsemen, but I'm sure I had to. Um, and then, you know, TBC came out, and I guess I vendored all my gear or something. Like, whatever I had that wasn't on my character, I must have gotten rid of. Because they were like, ah, uh, we were doing um, the uh, final boss of Hellfire Peninsula, or whatever it's called, Hellfire Ramparts. And they're like, all right, well, go get that uh, fire resist gear we gave you. And it's like, I'm like, what? what? <laughs> like, it was like pure panic in my eyes because I don't, I didn't have it. I remember that very distinctly. And I remember I just fucking pulled the plug. Probably thinking like, oh man, they're going to be so mad. They just gave me all this gold and they gave me all this gear last like a year ago. And now they're, I just got rid of it. You know what I mean? Like... I probably fucking vendored it, you know what I mean? To try to get more money. Because I was like addicted to the auction house when I was young. 
when I played in Classic and, and then early the early TPC year, I was like just buying shit on the auction house like crazy. Like I would literally just like play the game to try to make a little bit of gold and then buy small things on the auction house that I thought looked cool. Oh, what are we in combat with? But that's my memory of TBC. Then I remember coming back in my like second semester of undergrad because I had met Rusty and Stitt who played WoW like super heavily at the time. And uh, the rest was history. I started a guild. I wanted to try to take the game more serious. It's that guild that I was in on Silver hand. Well, so they were still together, but I think it had been so. Maybe they were even mad at me. I don't remember, but it had been so long that I just felt like I didn't have any connection with them anymore. And then I was trying to convince Rusty and Sid to come play with them because I was like, no, you have no idea. These guys are like amazing people. They'll like, it'll be a very good experience to play with them. And they're like, bro, we're not playing Alliance. I was like, oh, what? Like, I didn't even know, like, people preferred Horde, you know what I mean? That was the first time I ever talked to anybody who actually played WoW outside of people in the game. And the only people I ever played with were Alliance. Like, I had never made a Horde character before in my life. So I had to learn all the Horde quests. Me and another guy that um, I, I actually lived right next to, uh, do, like, dormed right next to, he was playing it for the first time ever as well. And we leveled two characters together, Nana and Popo, which were the name of the ice climbers from Super Smash Brother Melee or whatever. We were big fans. Yeah. All right, let's see. We still need these crystals, obviously. There's a lot of them. I love just how wide open shit is, though, in the early expansions. If this was retail, like, if this was a modern expansion, it would be, like, we'd be, like, it'd be so hard to af actually navigate this area. That's why I, d I like doing leveling challenges so much, because it's just chill, you know what I mean? I think we can only have... Yeah, it can only be on one target at a time, right? I cannot believe how strong we are. What else do we need to kill? Oh, we need to kill a name guy. We're getting a ton of those crystals. I have no idea what they're for. Oh, and then there's another named mob over here for some reason. Naked, just destroying stuff. Is that gonna be down? Oh, yeah, it looks like it is down there. It's a big old bear, Deathclaw. That's a really good zone, honestly. I'm impressed. I've never done this zone before. I've done the other drain I want a ton because I love the theme and the vibes of it, but that's one I'd never really done. I remember I, the first time I ever made a drain, I was the year the Janet Jackson thing happened on the Super Bowl. I was like so addicted to WoW at that point that it was like, all right, I'm Super Bowl. All right, watch it. Halftime. Okay, I'm leaving. Go play WoW for like 30 minutes. I think, I feel like that's what happened, but then I think I looked it up and those years don't make sense. Let me look that up one more time, because now I'm curious. 
Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction year 2004 so that obviously wasn't then it must have been just playing regular classic at that point I remember leaving and I missed that <laughs> because uh because of wow But that probably just happened every year. I probably just come up here to play WoW instead of the uh, halftime show. What is this? Oh, there's a fucking guy in there. What the hell? Did not expect that. Hey, be seeing you. Alrighty then. Don't remember if I was reading quests for this, but we aren't anymore. It's a treasure over there again. <clears throat> yeah, we can like We're like full strength here I don't feel like we're even weak I guess I've just been playing those naked characters too much Crude Murloc Idol, and it's like a naked woman. <laughs> it's like what? Northern Sword. The Sword of the Morning. I don't think we need that. We could put it on, though. Then we'll have a stupid sword on instead of a... It's got one stamina on it, but if I get Transmog... I'd rather the Transmog... Then like Malefic Rapture hits everybody. I know a lot of people don't like Malefic Rapture, and I'm not really sure why. But like this seems really fun. Like maybe it's not fun when you have 40 targets, but when you have three targets, it's fucking fun. Hit everything with your dots on it is cool as fuck. We haven't even started getting the knives. Is that just bad luck, or are they not? Yeah, it doesn't seem like they all dropped that. This one does. No, we just didn't loot them. It's probably the melee guys that dropped the knives, yeah. Like, by the time you get the dots on multiple characters, the first one's dead anyway, so. That's a badass for leveling. That's for sure. This character, this this spec was always crazy for leveling, though. Oh man, mop remix too. Yeah, we gotta finish this before mop remix, right? We definitely will. I mean, I don't know how much time I'm gonna have over the next few days, but we obviously are gonna have enough time to finish it in five days. It's not even. Yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna be a longer episode, so. Obviously, you already know that, though. I still have an hour, pretty much an hour and ten minutes before I gotta get off of the stream, so. How long have we been going already? Oh, this is gonna be a really long episode, wow. Won't have time for two, though, so yeah, we'll just do one long episode. Then it's Mother's Day. Exciting times. All right, let's see here. Mother's Day is the start of the spring, if you ask me. The official, unofficial start of the, the official, unofficial start. Honestly, like, I feel like Drain Life is crazy good at this level. It's, I, think, I think it might be doing more than Malefic Grasp or Rapture. 26 per, and Drain Life is 51 over 5 seconds. Yeah, it's like almost more. I 
All right, we done? Good. We're gonna get a lot of experience once we're done with all these quests. Oh, right. Yeah, we like failed this. We have to pick it up again. That was how the last episode ended. Because the servers were going down. Hi, how are you? All righty then. Off and away. You have a great day now. All righty then. All righty then. Random quest over there. We'll not do that right now, though. What a great. This is actually a very good zone. I'm really pleased with the flow of this zone. TBC, they learned a lot of lessons from Classic. It's almost crazy to look at. Look at Hellfire Peninsula to really any zone in Classic. Although, you know, like Winter Spring, some of the zones had a lot more quest density, but you spent a lot of time in Hellfire Peninsula. Should we go to, yeah, let's go turn all these in first. We have so many quests. There's bound to be more that we need to do up in one of these areas or something. We honestly might ding 20 as well. And if that's the case, that'd be ideal. Should I go get... Yeah, let's go do this first, I guess. Since that's out of the way. We get up there. Oh. Sure, there's gonna be a new quest that opens up here though too. Drain life also heals an enormous amount, it looks like. One can conclude its pages are filled with elegant script dif differing from that of the map. Okay, blood watch. Perfect. Good choice. I'm trying to find... And I'm trying to find the... The post. I need to find it because I want that transmog. That's like the whole reason I was excited for this Drain and Heritage armor because it's actually an amazing Each post that I saw on the transmog place. Reddit. May your days be long and your hardships. Got a lot of buffs, but none of them that I need to use. Have not forgotten us. Oh, more eradicated. What is that too? Remember the lessons of the past. Dionys Aka. Oh wow, look at that. May your days be long. Let's see a little buff. Nice one intellect, we'll take it. May the light embrace you. Safe journey. Arcanon I don't remember if I was reading all these, but there's a lot of quests. I would have taken like a whole episode just to read them all. We definitely won't hit 20, it looks like. The Naru have not forgotten us. Kronakai Christor. Dionysaka. Kronakai Christor. Good health, long life. Oh. Yeah, that's part of the hair. That's, yeah, we do that, right? Blessings upon your family. Epic pants. This is the nomad, so we do it. Of course, I can't fucking see because of this stupid thing. That is annoying. Alright. 
Seven intellect, eleven stamina. Now we're gonna be really killing stuff. The Naru have not forgotten us. I think if I open the talent pane, it goes. Yeah, so then I can at least kind of see, but can't really see. This is so annoying. This might be the last one of these I ever do, honestly, because this is really annoying. It's not really that bad, but like you literally can't see your bags. Like they, it's blocking the bags. Where's the vendor? Guess I could probably move the bags. Okay, can I even vendor stuff? Yeah, it's still interactive, at least, even though you can't see where your mouse is. Cookies, gumbo. Don't need any of that stuff. Okay. Anybody sell bags here? <laughs> I could definitely use them. The Naru have not forgotten us. Tradesman? Open your heart to the light. Nope. Dionysus. You're like a general goods vendor, I think, right? Alright, now it looks like we can go back. Yeah, see, I knew there was going to be overlap. How much experience are we going to get in this zone? Are we even going to have to leave this zone? We might actually straight up get to like 50 just in this zone. Oh, that's extremely bad. <laughs> Getting shadow locked on this character is a problem. We got nothing else. Should we go to TBC after this? That sounds fun. We can go to Hellfire Peninsula after this. I've not done Hellfire Peninsula in a such a long time. Probably would have been the last time on a private TBC private server. That's probably the last time I did it. I remember messing with it to test uh, Chromie Time scaling when they first introduced it. Whatever that was. Shadowlands, but yeah, that was it. That was the last time I did like four quests in the zone just because it was the only place I can get to quickly. Yeah, oh, leather in the war within, it will be able to get transmog from that. Don't have it yet. That's a feature I am very, very, very eager on for. Cause I love collecting transmog. I love just like that reaction of, whoa, I got a new transmog, you know what I mean? It's actually a really cool feeling. gonna be a long quest here knowing TBC fortunately the Marauders are difficult to multi pull Get the second cast off. Yeah. 
Is there anything we can do that's instant? Oh, we're done anyway. Just keep reapplying the dots, I guess. And that gets turned in back there. So now let's head over here. That's pretty wild. Dragon Riders of Lor Theron. Prince Torith. What the fuck is this? Are you mad? Look around, you mortal. Do you not see that we stand upon sundered earth? Leave this place, lest you suffer as my people and I have. Why do you suffer? Are you blind as well as insane? I am a ghost, a cruel reminder of a civilization that has long since ceased to exist, anchored to this land that I failed to protect. Long ago, 10,000 years past, I was flesh and bone like you. I was prince of this land and a dragon rider, blessed by Ysera of the dream. What is Ysera and how are you blessed? Have you not heard of Ysera, guardian of nature? aspect of the dream she's the matron of all green dragons i i was ysera herself it was ysera herself that gifted my kingdom with her brood we stood shoulder to shoulder with the noble creatures and they allowed us to ride them into battle against our enemies as all was well for many centuries until deathwing's brood ysera's benevolence raised the ire of deathwing a patron of the black dragon flight they attacked us in our sleep many died on the initial surge but the greens rose to protect us Prince Torth points around the island. The bones are all that remains of the once great dragons. None were spared. I was the last to die. As I felt my spirit leaving my mortal shell, I swore a blood oath. A pact was made between this land and I. My blood for this world. I became the sole keeper of the history of my people. I cannot rest until I am secure in knowing that the story of the dragon riders of Lower Theron is not lost to the passages of time. Not long ago, the once tranquil Owlkin of the region appeared on the shores of this island. One by one, they would have come to steal the bones of the fallen dragons. I do not know why, what would cause these creatures such distress or why they would want the bones of the deceased, but the spirits of the brood have grown restless due to the sacrilege. To the west, across the Crimson Reach, you will find the Rage Feather Ridge. Venture to the Owlkin encampment and recover the pilfered dragon bones. Alright, that's a very interesting quest. Is Ysera a character that we would know in the Burning Crusade, like in 2008 or 7 or whatever? Razor Maw. Or is it literally this is the first time the character's been named? Because the green dragons were all insane in, in Classic, right? Ironicus and all that, they were all enemies. So this is the first time they've been introduced as a character that might be bene benevolent. What else are we supposed to be doing here, though? Oh, okay, Blood Curse Legacy. Another ghost. Edward Haynes. Don't care much about this. The Naga, less interesting to me. I think we can turn we can turn warm one on anywhere now, right? Oh no, I think we still have to go to Stormwind for it. How the hell did I get to Stormwind in the first place? Did I do that off screen? Or is oh maybe there's ah uh, I think I remember there's I think there's a portal. And we can just set our hearth. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I have to violate the rule to do that, but obviously we want to turn warm mode on. I don't know that they have many PvP talents that we would want, but 
We have underwater breathing though. Let's use it. Wait, we already have underwater breathing. Isn't it? Can't even use our own spells, man. This doesn't look very good underwater, I'll tell you. It's very, uh, they, they hit the atmosphere pretty hard, but whatever the hell is going on over there is weird. It's like the horizon of the water, I guess. We don't need to loot anything, so we can just get more aggressive here. I love this like void backpack that you get when you press that spell. I literally, I'm on, like, I'm blinded. I can't even see where we are right now. <laughs> There's some mobs. No, oh wow, all the way over there, okay. <laughs> I aim is to 100% the zone. Hopefully yeah, I'll be able to do that. Jesus. That is far down there. Whoa, what the fuck are these guys? Old humans. I wanna look at this model before we kill it. It's like a knight, that's not even a, is that even a human? That is the alpha human, I guess, yeah. Something even more alpha, I've never even seen that model before. gets us through it. The dots don't last long enough to pull four mobs, I guess. God, train life is so fucking overpowered. Wow. It heals so much. It's because I have so little health, probably. It's like I'm blinded. Like, I, if I didn't have the nameplate add on, I'm not sure I like if. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see the enemies, bro. They're literally invisible. Is the quest supposed to be like that? Is it that hard to see on purpose? That's really weird. Hopefully we'll be able to swerve these. I feel like we're not gonna be able to. The magic of mounts though is high. Because there's not really any other, like when I try to do these, I always try to do zones that are you know, important to the heritage of the heritage armor. And there's not, oh, I guess in Wad. Yeah, it would be Wad, right? Did I maybe even say I was gonna do Wad? Shadow Moon, Shadow Moon. I don't, I don't wanna do new zones though, honestly. But yeah, Shadow Moon Valley would probably be the only other one. I did that 
somewhat recent, not really recently, but somewhat recently with cops, so. What the hell? There's another island somewhere. Okay, let's do this quest, whatever this is. This is just looting stuff on the ground, it looks like. Yeah, see, there's still, like, poison users in TBC. You would expect poison users to be enemies. I love dragons in early WoW, though, especially. Well, that's an easy quest. I assume there's a follow-up that comes back here, because there's all kinds of stuff up here. Didn't really get that much done, but we will ding shortly regardless. I guess we'll just end the episode with us going back to Stormwind. I don't really know how else to handle it. It's going to be a long journey. Hopefully it won't take too long. We'll head back in like 30 minutes. Because it is going to be a long journey. Because we got to ride all the way to the Exodar still. We might actually have... Oh, we might actually not. Is there a portal? I might be wrong. Portal from Exodar to Stormway. I've already searched this. No, we have to take the boats. Alright, so it's going to be really a long, a long journey then. What is that? Oh, a new pet. Maybe we just don't put it on until we are done with the zone. Because I want to level. We're probably like well over halfway done with the zone, right? So sit, like coming back here. Spending like 30 minutes to come back here. If we're definitely going to go to uh, Hellfire Peninsula. It seems like a waste of time. I don't know that there's any PvP talents that would really break it. You know, I don't think there's anything really important. Been a long time since I looked at Warlock stuff, though. Oh, right. I also have Pulse Stone. I forgot about that. Look at that, that just healed 30% of my health in one tick. That slow is rough though. I also have Burning Rush, I forgot about that. Does damage over time, but... Actually, no, that does a lot of damage over time, what the fuck? I was gonna say, it probably won't be that much damage. Ah, another piece. Oh, mail. That probably would've been transmog too. We don't really have a lot of non-plate transmog. We also have, yeah, Gift of the Naru, right? 30% or 20% of my health. 
Oh, this isn't even a kill quest. What is this? Statue of Queen Ajara. That's not what she looks like. Whoever made that got it wrong. Or did I fail to put the dot up? Uh, can we jump here and not die? Hopefully. This quest, I, this quest probably wasn't even very efficient to do, huh? <sighs> I gonna aggro? Who knows? Pretty much impossible to tell. This, I was looking at like a TBC or maybe like a classic discussion or something. The guy says there should be a portal near the entrance to the Vault of Light. If you're entering the Vault of Light from the seat of the Naru, go left of the stairs. So yeah, we can actually. Let's, let's just do it now. And then the rest of the episode, you know, we can use whatever time we all... Because I just don't want to try to end the episode at 10.30 and then it only takes us like five minutes for some reason. It's probably not going to take us that long if there's actually a portal. Well, we got a lot of work left still, though. But we are now 20. Shadow Bolt increases the damage of your unstable affliction on the target. Drain life, drain soul, oblivion damage, increase the duration of your unstable affliction. That's kind of cool. Casting a curse now applies corruption and agony, but the curse costs one soul shard. Do we have? Oh yeah, we have curse of weakness. Okay. Wait, that's really good. That seems really good. I don't even know what I would take, but probably that. Because this would be really, really, really good later on, but I don't think we're going to need that for a long time. We may never need that. Too far south here. I don't know. Did we even do anything with these mobs? While we go back, I want to see if there's any way I can get rid of this stupid thing. Because this is killing the plate. Yeah, okay, it is there. Tutorial pointer frame one. Let's see if that works. Warm wishes to you. There's an inn, right? Hopefully. Yeah, it's over there. Good fortune. Remain vigilant.
Okay. Suspend. Did we do this cross I guess. Uh, suspend the to buy, trade, Hearthstone rule for now. Because we gotta go back. So we just gotta ride all the way there, pretty much. Not gonna be that long. While we do, let me see if I can figure this out. Looks like tutorial pointer frame one is what I'm looking for. Cause this ain't it. I'm not trying to look at this all. And I would like to do other ones like this because of the heritage armors. They're, I feel like they're done best like this. It works. Okay. Yeah, if you guys ever... Like, I'll just show you what I've... It's very, 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 very basic. I don't know exactly... I don't know much about, like, add-ons and shit. Wow, man, but... Yeah, if you ever want to hide something, you can hide it by just typing F stack. It's frame stack. Slash frame stack. And then you hover over the frame. And you look... Like, you have to get the frame itself, but... You look for whatever is specifically, like this one would be objective tracker blocks frame. And then you just type slash run the name of the frame, colon, hide, and then this weird mouth looking thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. But yeah, either way, that's how you hide stuff in WoW. And you have to do it every single time you log on, but now it's gone at least. I swear I tried that a couple weeks ago, or months ago even now, but... So now I need to make a macro for that too. Um, new. Hide talent thing. You're doing that too fast. What? Typing? Okay. I made it yellow too, so hopefully that will associate in my mind. But yeah, it's just tutorial pointer frame one. All right, vault of lights. That's here, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what is newfound allies? Huh. There's a quest here as well. That's probably something to leave the island now that we're twenty. Yeah. Yeah, this won't take long at all. We'll still have like 15, 20 minutes to keep questing. I mean, provided I can find the actual portal. What did the guy say? Near the entrance of the Vault of Lights. We missed it? Ah, there it is. Why? Oh, it's maid trainer, I see. This guy's name on Reddit is Squarish Rectangle. Alright, Marth back and then we'll continue. Hate to do it, but, you know, war mode, there's no reason to not have war mode on. And delete the Hearthstone. 
back to business. That wasn't that long at all. But now we gotta pick the PvP talent. I think we're like this, yeah. Let's try this for a bit. Now every time we level, we're gonna have to press that button again. But yeah, so this now should just replace the other two spells. Let's find out if that is the case. Oh, it, it's instant? Oh, wow. This is like too good. Is there any reason we wouldn't want to do that? Am I missing something? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I guess because it costs a soul shard, yeah. I don't really think that's a problem. I mean, it's kind of a problem. I don't. Not really. What was the other option? Rotten Decay. Shadow Bolt increased the damage. Increase the duration of unstable affliction. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's probably better. We'll go with that. This stuff feels like honestly like cheating. It doesn't feel like playing a warlock anymore. I like using the multiple globals to put up the spells. So now we would use yeah, they're going up. Cool. So now they're like instant, yeah. Or they're permanent, pretty much. Which is definitely going to be better later on. Will there be enough in this? I think we need another full camp cleared, obviously, one way or the other, but hopefully not more than one. Yeah, there's some over there, good. Since we don't need to kill these enemies, trying to avoid it as much as we can. actually plays warlock do you find like that talent is very very good the one that I went against or do you think it's not very good using the soul shard seems like it's it probably sounds great but it's probably bad I guess maybe in PvP because you'd be able to get flooded with soul shards by just putting the dots on dozens of players or something like that in a battleground but in a setting like this where we may potentially be in danger, we can't just like wildly apply it to every single target. Cause that would like, yeah, cause you'd put it and then it could give you soul cards back while you're killing the mobs. So you would expect that to be the way you would, you know, deal with the fact that you're now spending soul shards on that. That would be pretty much all we'd be able to do, because then all of our soul shards would go towards that.
I don't know that we're in the right area for this quest. But let's focus on the other one. I don't know what I'm going to do for the troll one, though. I'm not sure I'm even going to do it. I want to do it at some point, but I don't think we're going to do it anytime soon. I really want to do a hunter. But I've done hunters so many times in so many different playthroughs now. Like, I just did the night elf hunter. I should have did night elf rogue. I was not. I made a bad decision there. I didn't think ahead. And then I just did orc common. You know what I mean? Which I want to do the torn again. I, I need to do torn again. I'm waiting to see what happens with the torn though. With Dragonflight or with uh, War Within, because I want to, uh, I want to get that totem. But if we can actually just level a character from scratch and not have to get it to 70, because right now you have to get it to 70. But it looks like all the max level content in Dragonflight is going to be uh, 50 now. So I need to finish that Evoker playthrough before I make any decisions on that front. Because if I only have to get it to 50, I'll just wait until the pre-patch to do that. Is that char whatever character I end up making, uh, it's just, just going to get deleted. Like, I don't plan on actually using the character for anything. It's just something I want to get. If I finish, it's like Drain Life's giving me soul shards for some reason, but maybe it's a coincidence. Guess it's a coincidence. Royal Blue Flutterer. There's a fair amount of them, I guess. Love the updated bear models, though, next to the old moth models. Funny. Yeah, it just like infinitely keeps those thoughts up. As long as they have any duration at all. Alright. Still looking for moths, I guess. Not as many as you would like. Found one. It's a very TBC quest for sure. Only five of ten, unfortunately. Well, I guess we can check for this rare or whatever while we're here. I don't know. I don't have anything that, uh, would ping me, I don't think, if it was there. A lot of enemies, though. Don't know what's going on there. That was a lot of enemies all in one little stack. There's a bunch right next to each other here. Good. This one looks like it's bugged. Yep. Awesome. I might be able to kill it if I go really close to it. Yeah, looks like we'll be alright. Nope. It's like, this is a fucking live wow, by the way. This is in live wow. This is not a private server. I mean, it looks like it can die. I just need to kill it. It doesn't need to loot or anything. Alright, yeah, we got it. The pet, like, what happened to the pet? It got meleeed to death by it? It's 
strangest of strange things going on here. Probably, or I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to leave this area because I don't think there's any more. Just come back later, I guess. So we'll go turn those two in at least. We also have that green dragon shit going on over there. Maybe we go back over there. We don't have a ton of time left though. So yeah, I guess we'll go back over there and that. We'll have to end the episode soon. The Naru have not forgotten us. Good fortune. Blessings upon your family. God, there's so many questions. This is insane how many quests there are in this zone. I'm sure it's like this for Ghostlands too, but. Yeah, we'll go do this because we're coming at the end here. Even though it says only two of eight. Loretheron is the thing we're working on right now. Unwritten prophecy might be that, maybe? I don't know what the triumvirate's first, second, and third are. But either way, we gotta be coming up to the end. Can't be much more in that, in the zone. Ah, we're gonna get slowed by the fucking frostbolt. Why is he swimming? The whelps that you see on the island are the agitated spirits of the green dragonflight. Like me, they are bound to this land, unable to ascend to their final resting place in the dream. Recovering the bones of the fallen has settled them somewhat, but you must take further action. Destroy their ethereal manifestations. I cannot leave this place until it's done. So we gotta kill whelps. Oh, and stuff that's not whelps. So where are they? Over here? Oh, there's just also whelps. They're just bigger whelps. It's probably the last one. I guess we'll see what the follow-up is first, but... Definitely feeling a little weaker now, though, as we continue to level. Always the scary part that when you do one of these playthroughs, you might not even be able to do the heritage armor, but I assume they're never intentionally going to be super hard. I like characters that have channels though, man. If I ever played a, a caster, it would definitely have to have a channel. Evoker's channel is too short. 
I mean, actually, drain life isn't even part of the main rotation, I assume, so that's probably not <laughs> not much of a thing to say, but it's nice to have such a long channel. Five second channel, you can just sit here and basically auto attack, it's kind of cool. This is a very good leveling character. Alright, well that was very quick. We can definitely... Should be able to do one more unless it's really complicated. It's not going to be that long of an episode. Many of the Black Dragon Flight were slain during the attack. One of them, a Lieutenant of Deathwing himself, still haunts this place. If you look to the heavens, you can see a spectral continence circling the skies. His hatred is so great that he remains even in death. Take the bones that you gathered for me earlier to the top of the mountain on this island and place them in the ever-burning pyre. This act should signal Razor Maw to descend. When he does, slay his undead form. That, like, little dialogue thing was so freaking good. But, like, the questing itself, it doesn't, you know, it seems kind of, like, really basic. Like, they put a lot of time into making it feel like a badass area, but. Then you do the quest, and it's like, kill three mobs, then leave. Thank you, you've helped me. My legacy is secured. Just gonna ride past all this stuff. One way or the other, we'll get through it with... Drain life if we have to. Looks like everything else reset anyway, so. Said we were casting it, but there was no animation. Oh, a weapon. But that can't even be equipped. We got a lot of greens already, but not anything we can wear. Is it coming down? What the fuck just happened? He just left. Is it bugged out? Let's try to kill these. Oh, here it comes. That was really weird. Got a lot of health. Oh, it doesn't really. Nope. Oh. All right. Thing just from killing that fella. Twenty-one. We just got subjugate demon. Subjugates the target demon up to level twenty-two. Oh, that's kind of cool. But can't imagine we'll ever use it. Maybe in Hellfire Peninsula, I don't know. I tried, I think I tried to use that at some point, didn't I? And it was like really, really, really bad now. I think I did like a naked leveling challenge and I tried it and the mob does like, it just bugs out. It doesn't like do any damage. I don't remember. Oh, I probably should have read that, but either way. Yeah, that wasn't as grand as I hoped it was going to be. All right, well, let's go back to the inn, and that'll be the end of our episode there. So in the next episode, we will be going and finishing the zone, hopefully. Mobs will have respawned, and then we just got to figure out what we're doing for the rest of it. This is going to be a huge pain in the ass, but I'm assuming that that quest is... Well, what is that? Vindicator's Rest, maybe? 
I have no idea, but there's at least like those first three. It's like, well, where are those? Like, I have no idea. It's probably up in that area, though. Probably get to like maybe 25 from the zone only. Then we'll finish in Hellfire Peninsula, I guess. Yeah, I, I think so. I don't see why not. Like, I mean, I've not done Hellfire in a long time. I don't think it would be that unfun to do. It's definitely not a zone that I love. But it's got a good connection, and especially with the Eridar theme, I think it would fit in well. Well, it's like there should be enough like rares and or not not necessarily rares, but should be enough BOEs and stuff that it'll make it feel like a good a good zone to be in. Because I can't think of a single zone on Azeroth that would be drain eye specific, right? Not any. It's pretty much just yeah, either WAD or TBC. Yeah, hopefully you guys uh yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. We'll be back with it more. We got a lot of leveling to do, so unfortunately only ten percent from war mode right now, but hopefully we can get this done before mop remix. Thank you for watching, we'll see you guys in the next one.